Hi, this is Realtor Mike Thomas. Uh, today we're going to talk about a fun subject, finding a realtor. A lot of people come to me and say, Mike, I want to find a real estate agent. Um, how do I do that? What, should, what questions should I ask? And my, my answer is, is depends. If you're looking to sell a house, buy a house, a lot of times that's going to be the same agent. So when people come to me and say, Mike, I want to sell my house, uh, I normally end up selling them a house somewhere else. The question you should not ask a realtor is this, and everybody asks it. And my th thing is like, oh my God, how many houses have you sold in my neighborhood? And I normally tell them, I hope none. And the reason, sorry about that. And the reason I say that is because a good real estate agent will have a broad spectrum of buyers. If I just work in your neighborhood and that's all I do, that means I'm just moving people from one house in your neighborhood to another house in your neighborhood. And then is that a lot of people? And the answer is no, it is not. So Please, 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 please stop asking the question, how many houses have you sold in my neighborhood? Because the answer for me is none. But in your county, in Palm Beach County, I've sold a lot of homes. And you know what was different about your home that than any other home I sold? Nothing. Because a real estate agent has power and strength when it comes to negotiating and marketing your house, period. So the question is, is are you a strong negotiator in real estate? Are you going to get me the highest price for my home? Are you going to um, have a broad range of people that you market to to bring in the most amount of buyers? Those are the questions you should ask, in my opinion of course, because in your neighborhood is no different than the neighborhood next door to you or any other neighborhood. It is how well do you market the home and how well do you negotiate? So those are the two questions that I would ask any real estate agent out there. How would you market my home? And how would you negotiate an offer that came in low? What would you do? So those are the type of things two of probably many questions that I can think of. I'm sure I could be here all day talking about questions for real estate agents. But if I was in interviewing a real estate agent, I would say, what will you do to market my home? To how many people are you going to market it to? How, where, where is it going to be? And if they tell me the typical things, it's going to be in the MLS, it's going to be on Zillow and on Realtor.com with every other home. There's no real estate agent out there who's not going to put it in the MLS on Realtor.com and on Zillow.com. Guaranteed. In fact, I'd love to find a real estate agent who says, no, I'm not going to put it on Realtor.com or Zillow.com or even put it into the MLS. Now, unless it's a very expensive estate home that is owned by a celebrity, that's a different story. And we've dealt with those too, but that's a totally different video. So when they are in the process of buying a home, the question not isn't normally, um, how are you going to find me a house is a good question. Uh, what kind of resources are you going to use? Well, I'm going to check the MLS. So will every other agent check MLS. Um, I do something very, very unique. When I have a buyer, I say, listen, what we're going to look for is we're going to look for a location. And if it comes with a house, that's a bonus. <laughs> um, because the location is very, very important. And I'm sure you're probably seeing one of my other videos that I posted on location, which is actually entitled Real Estate Investing House, House, House. Um, it's a... Um, well, <laughs> you have to watch the video. So when I talk to people about finding a house, I'm going to tell them this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to find a house. 
You are. Because that's not what I do. My thing is to negotiate and get your offer, whatever offer it is, accepted. That's my strength of the real estate agent. Finding a house, that's the easy part. Oh my God, you can go to realtor.com. You can go to zillow.com. You don't even need a real estate agent to find a house that's in the MLS. But if they find a location that they like and a home is not available in that location, guess what? Now I do something very different. And what I do is I do a mailing out to the community. Hey, I've got a buyer who's looking to move into your neighborhood. If you or someone you know is thinking of selling, please call me. Here's my number. Or I get on the phone if I can, find the people's telephone number, which is a task at hand, and call them all up and say, hey, listen, uh, I've got a buyer who wants to buy in your neighborhood. Do you or someone you know interested in selling? And that is a very, very difficult task. It takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to do that. Uh, and I only do it with my exclusive VIP buyers. So it's not something that I can do for everybody. I can't have 100 people do this for 100 people and you know 99 of them don't buy from me. Uh, that's a lot of time, energy invested. So I do do it, but only to my VIP people. And how they become VIP people is I ask them to sign a buyer's agency agreement saying that I am their exclusive real estate agent. You want that as a buyer. And I'll tell you why. Commissions are paid by the seller. So the seller's agent has to split uh, whatever commission he's negotiated with the seller uh, with me when I bring in a buyer. Now, a lot of real estate agents feel obligated to the seller because that's who they're getting paid with. But with this great buyer's agency agreement, it says that I have to work for you no matter what. If the seller pays me or not, doesn't matter. I work for you as the buyer. I am your exclusive buyer agent and I will hold your information in confidence, which is something that uh, is not required with here in the state of Florida anyway. I'm not talking about any other state. I don't know what the rules and regulations are. Um, when I, as a real estate agent, want to sell real estate in another state, I have to get a real estate license in that particular state and follow their rules and regulations as far as uh, what their state requirements are. So the best thing to do is find an agent who is a great negotiator because finding the house, that's the easy part. Getting a house and getting it at your price, well, that's not so easy. So think about those two questions. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you like this video, share the love, uh, give us a like. And if you want to subscribe, I'm not going to beg anymore. I'm not going to go, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, even though I want to. <laughs> um, and if you think this information is great, please share it on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social media accounts, and uh, spread the word. Thank you so much. Until our next video, this is real estate agent Mike Thomas.